Hi there, um, this is just a quick vid on uh, um, my uh, SCSI hard drive which I use with my Atari ST. Um, I unpacked this the, a while ago and found that it wasn't working. It was basically spinning up and then immediately spinning down. Um, had a quick search on uh, YouTube and found that these drives, which are it's a Quantum Pro Drive ELS, uh, which is a 170 meg um, hard drive. Um, these are a bit no notorious in that, and there, there's a reason why, which I'll explain in a minute, but um, this is what it sounds like when you go to turn it on. And that's all it does. Um, basically what's happening is it's not, uh, the head's not uh, unparking, so... Um, it spins up and then just spins again, down again. So um, the reason why it's not unparking, I'll just take the, uh, the lid off here so you can see it. Um, behind the, uh, on the underside of the platter, um, or platters, there's two on here, um, there's a little rubber uh, O-ring that the other side of the drive head um, uh, rests, against, rests against. And um, that O-ring, over time, it kind of breaks down and the rubber gets really sticky. So when the drive head rests against it, it gets stuck and it isn't able to free itself. Um, you can free it manually. Um, I'll just demonstrate that. You basically just wait for the drive to uh, spin up and then move it across. And that's now unparked and can be used. Uh, but as soon as you switch it off, it will obviously then go back to its uh, um, park state and it will get stuck again. If I switch that back on, it's now stuck again. So there is a fix for this. Uh, it's a bit bodgy, but it works for me. Uh, basically, all, all you have to do is, is uh, this gap down here, which is the other side of the the head mechanism. Um, basically you can just get some of this uh, plastic foam, cut off a tiny amount and uh, just kind of wedge it down there. Um, not so much that it can't actually park at all but just enough so it doesn't actually uh, go back to that um, and get stuck on that kind of o-ring. Um, so I will just put that in now and I'll show you that working. Okay um, hopefully you can see that in there just a very small amount um, so if I turn this on uh, there we go and turn it back up again you can see it still parks itself I'll leave it down there um, if, if the head kind of floats, when it's spinning down, if it floats across a uh, platter, it means that uh, you've probably got too much uh, too much in there. So just um, it's a bit of trial and error, really. Just um, um, yeah, just take off a bit and put a bit more in there or, or whatever's needed. I'll just switch back on again just to make sure uh, definitely not stuck. Yeah. There we go. So again, a bit bodgy, but uh, it works. Um, I suppose the ideal way to fix this would be to take the whole thing apart, take the platters off and uh, replace that O-ring on the bottom, but uh, uh, that's a bit beyond me, really. <laughs> anyway, hope that uh, helps anyone with the same problem. Um, cheers, bye. So I just realised it's probably uh, good idea to actually show it is actually working with the uh, Atari, so uh, I'll turn it back on. And turn the auditorium. on. And there we go. Old X boot three. There you go, just a trailer that is working. Cheers, bye.